Hey guys, welcome to another video on Java for Beginners. In this video, we're going to be talking about a few of the operators that we left out in the previous videos. So the first operator that I want to talk about is the assignment operator. So, which you already know that assignment operator is used to assign values to variables. So another functionality of assignment operator is that suppose we have three variables declared of type into A, B, and C can use the assignment operator to assign our values to all the three variables at once, just like this. So if you say A equals B equals C equals 10, so 10 is the value that's being assigned to all the three variables. So if you print the value of any variable, then it's going to be 10. And it's say B. So uh, there you go, let's just run this real quick. So there you go, you get the output 10, 10, 10. And uh, this is because here you uh, have assigned the value 10 to all the variables. That's what assignment operator do. And talking about the plus operator that is being used in the printable function here. So Whenever you use plus in the printable function, so whatever the printable function takes as output, it takes as the input, I mean, whatever is specified within the parentheses of the printable function is directly printed onto the screen, output screen. So what plus operator is doing here is that the printable function takes A first, it prints out the value on the output screen, and the plus operator tells that to add whatever present Whatever content is present between these double quotes, the output again, and then it again adds the content of B here to the output, and again the what's present between these double quotes, and again it adds C, adds C to the output. So whenever you want to print any string or values, just all you have to do is use the plus operator to uh, print one value and uh, append or add another value to be printed alongside. So that's what basically plus operator does when used in print alone function. So that is there. And I uh, also wanted to talk about the ternary operator. The ternary operator is basically represented by a question mark. So how ternary operator works is let me just assign values to the variables. C equals sum 10. Okay, so ternary operator works like an uh, if-else statement. So what we do here is we specify a condition first, A greater than B, so whatever condition it might be, and uh, you use question mark after the condition. So it's basically testing the condition if A is greater than B. So if the condition is true, then assign the value A to C, else assign value B to C. Sorry. Yeah, so what ternary operator does is it chooses uh, one among one of the two values that can be assigned to a variable based on the condition. So here we check if A is greater than B and if the condition turns out to be true, we assign the value that's present in the first section after the question mark to the variable C and uh, if the condition is false, then B is assigned to C. So, and it's there. So, this was supposed to be colon. Yeah. So, remember that you are first write the condition, then put the question mark, and then the first value that's, that should be assigned to the, uh, to the left hand side. And uh, you, put, you use colon, and then the next value that should be assigned. And the condition turns out to be false. And uh, so, and if we print out the value of C, then according to the condition that we see here, C should contain 10. Yeah, 10. So there it is. This is all about the ternary operator and the assignment operator, and also we covered about the plus operator used in printable function. So we'll be covering more uh, deeper. 
things about operators and a uh, few of the other operators that we left out as and when we required to use them. So that's it for this video, guys. See you again in the next video. Till then, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.